Now then, this video is going to be a very different style to the normal video um, and that's because this is sort of a little vlog of um, the fishing competition I was in the other day. So most of the time, as you'll see in my normal videos, I sort of talk throughout them and do a little, just tell, tell you how it's going and stuff, but this time's different because there was really no time for messing around. This was competitive fishing, straight start, we started fishing, fished hard, finished fishing and then see how we did. Basically. Um, this was a Pike Anglers Club competition on the Lancaster Canal on Sunday. Really good fun, there was 25 people overall, you'll see how I get on. Um, Stretch of Canal I've never fished, I had to buy a day ticket. There was a cash prize for first, second and third and it was in pairs. So there was pairs, prizes for first, second and third pairs as well. Every fish measured in centimetres. We were randomly buddied up with somebody drawn out of a hat, which was interesting. So um, I was second up in our choice. I went with someone called Gav, who ended up being a top bloke, knew his way around the canal. So uh, I just followed his lead. We went to one of his spots and this is how we got on. So again, I'm talking you through my setup at home because it was all about the fishing that day. Um, I went for the rigged and ready fish rig 180 with the RR3000 reel. I've got 60 pound braid on there and a really, really strong wire trace. And this rod actually has interchangeable tips. I've gotten for the heavier tip. You can see here exactly what that means. So that is the 25 to 60 gram cast weight, fast action. My thinking was I'll take my spare tips, which will mean I can downsize to a five to 15 gram rod or a 10 to 30 gram rod if I want. But I ended up not even using that feature just cause I didn't want to mess around re-rigging when I found something that worked. Really, really strong braid. That's so important when you pike lure fishing. But yeah, rigged and ready. Fish rig max. I think you can get this rod for only about 50 quid and this reel about 30. And you can actually get 10% off using discount code AFUK10 on the rigged and ready website. I'll just quickly talk you through the box that I took with me, minus the perch lure I lost at the start, and I'll show you that. Um, I've got the Lure Boy micro jigs there. Couldn't go without those just in case I really needed to downsize. Got a selection of traces from 44 pounds to 15 pound. I got some mixed jig heads there, some weedless, some not. Lamab finesse fillet craw. Some braid scissors. Frog, this is the only frog that actually works well got a stinger hook on and um, this was just in case I came across any lily pads or saw any fish sort of moving around like really shallow weedy areas. Big old Salmo Hornet, couple of spinner options, Rapala, X-Rap Otis, rigged with just a small weight at the top to help it sink. Rapala jerk bait floating. Bit of a soft bait in there. It wouldn't be Adventure Fishing UK if I didn't bring my didn't bring my top water snake. And I've got a slightly bigger skirted jig type thing, weedless. A few little soft baits in there. Little spinning soft bait there. And then a nice soft bait here. Might not look like I've got many lures and I did that on purpose just because I didn't want to be inundated with choice when I got there. Keeping everything slick, I emptied my whole box and just picked exactly what I need. And although I probably didn't really need the frog or the snake, I brought those anyway just for good measure. So yeah, this is it. My very refined tournament, well competition, pike fishing setup. So I did actually lose this lure, you can see here now. Um, I, actually, I did have a take on it as well first, so I'll show you that in a minute. But I um, casted right into a tire that was on the side of a canal boat. I very rarely hit canal boats when I'm casting, very, very rarely. The one time I sort of just hit one, landed right in the tire on the side of it and I lost it, which was a bit gutting to be honest.
fish. Oh, 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 oh no. Hi. About four pound. Maybe a bit less. Go for it again. Yeah. I've, I've, gone, I've had a fish come three or four times to tap the law. Fully had it as well. Did you see it yeah, come yeah. up? Yeah. Oh, fuck. is it off? You're joking me, man. <laughs> Unlucky. That was a beast. How big are we talking? Oh, about six, I think. Oh, that'd have been nice still, oh, wouldn't it? <laughs> that's two in, two in two chucks, that. Same fish, or? No, different fish. No monster, but I'll be able to get a bit closer than that. It's only just up though, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Is that in centimetres, yeah? Yeah. So, 40, 40, 1, 2, 3, 45. 45? 45. First bike of the day. Didn't quite get the take on camera because my battery was charging, but I turned on after. 45, first bike. Let's get it back. Fish! Slightly better one, again hardly hooked. Slightly hooked again? Yeah. Come on! Dead on there. So, 51, 2, 3, 4, 56. 56. Just get a little video. It's the old ice on it. Yeah. Is that ice? Yeah, it is. It's been sat on the deck, that. Where was that? Across again? Um, Hit me right at the edge, right that. The edge, yeah. Right under my feet, I think. Pike number two coming in at 56 on the, well, I'll show you what I was using in a minute. Covered in lice. Lovely fish. I sort of knew when packing this that this would be one of the good ones for the day. Double rigged with treble hooks. I couldn't even tell you what this is. I think it's fox. Don't know how long it is. Fox soft bait with a 10 gram, I think, weight on the front. This has been the magic lure for the day for me. Caught two fish on this. Total length of 101 centimetres. Really, really impressed with its action. You can work it nice and slow. Absolutely fantastic. Not done much talking today because I've been out really seriously trying to catch fish. 101 is my current length. Don't think it's going to be enough to... It'll be better than a lot of people, but it's not going to be a winning... It's not going to be a winning score, I don't think, unless I get extremely lucky. So, got about an hour left. Hopefully, I'll be able to get onto some fish soon. Really good day so far, it's been nice weather, I was expecting it to be a lot worse, but just waiting for that last fish and hopefully it's a big one and that might give us a chance. I'm running out of GoPro charge soon, so if I get any fish, it might not be on camera. Well, I've got some charge left, but um, we're really in the dying embers of the, the tournament now, well, the competition. 
I really, really, really could do with another fish to give me a chance. Just one more. Just one more small one and I'd be in with half a chance. Ooh, partner's on. Trying to get it, are you alright? Do you want me to? Nicely done, <laughs> nicely done. I've had two attacks, attack. three more attacks along here. Really? I've not had a touch. Good effort. Oh yeah. Well in. Game on now. Just made a fairly outrageous last minute decision. Going for this massive spinner. I've no idea if this is gonna work. I got it in a lure bundle, so 20 minutes left. Let's see. Alright, let's see what this thing's like to cast with. Got a good cast on it. No idea what this is going to be like. Not really the time for experiments either, but... This sort of decision may well just make the difference one day. Maybe that day will be today. I think between us, me and Gav lost about five fish on that trip and um, if we'd have caught just one, if we'd have caught just one of those fish that we'd missed, with a K, we'd have come third on the pairs competition, which would have been brilliant because there was a really nice selection of lures out on the table that you could go and choose a few of. That would not have, that would have been absolutely brilliant to go and have a few picks of there, but oh well, win some, you lose some. Overall, I personally, with my score of 101 centimeters, ended up coming sixth. And of about 25 people, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, was never expecting to do very well because I didn't know the water, but I fished hard and came sixth. I've learned a lot, learned a lot about new places to try, and I'm really excited to fish again now. Big well done to all the winners. Ended up being a really competitive day, and I was nowhere near winning, but um, very close to at least getting my hands on something. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I feel like this competition has lit the fire inside me for bike fishing. I'm gonna hit it hard soon, so make sure you stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you down the road.